Good day everyone and welcome back to DX Explorer for another video and of course Happy New Year! Happy New Year everyone and I hope uh, 2024 will be a lot better for you. Um, it's New Year's Eve uh, here so it's not exactly a good day <laughs> and I decided to make a YouTube video because here in Romania, at least in Transylvania, we have this saying that uh, it's not good to step in the new year owning something to someone and because I own you a couple of uh, YouTube videos in December, I was a little bit short on this part uh, because of work. I decided to make uh, one last video for this year just because I don't want to own anything to anyone while I'm stepping into the new year. <laughs> so uh, I have this schematic, uh, you can see it on the screen, of this uh, very simple CW keyer that I always wanted to try. And uh, here we are. Uh, trying to build it right now to see uh, if it works or at least uh, if it works the way I thought I, I think it it, uh, it works. The only thing is that I did not have a 12 volt relay so I'm using a 5 volts and a, a voltage drop resistor and if this solution doesn't work and the resistor will burn out um, which it shouldn't because I calculated properly but I have this backup plan, uh, this voltage regulator from 12 volts to 5 volts, so I will power the relay through this one. Anyway, um, let's see. Let's see how this thing works. I'm going to put it together really quick. But uh, the whole thing came after building the squeaky, um, which is finished right now and uh, placed in a nice enclosure. Uh, it works fantastic. And uh, this is the project that I built uh, thanks to um, Peter, VK3, Yankee Echo. I've seen this one <laughs> a long time ago. And of course to my friend Stefan who sent me the PCB board um, before designing my own. And it works great. So I thought, hey, why, why uh, not trying another 5 um, i 5 timer IC uh, project? So here we are. I'm going to try to use this simple uh, CW keyer with my very tiny and simple CW transmitters or transceivers. And uh, I think it would be fantastic to have that board in the, in the same enclosure with this uh, simple project. And then I get to pick if I want to use a straight key or a paddle key. But first, let me put it together and uh, test it so we can <laughs> see if it actually works and the way it works. So uh, while I'm building this thing, I also have to say Happy New Year to my friends at PCWiiWay and uh, say a big, big, big thank you for the nice collaboration that we have because without them uh, this past year, the 2023, uh, would have been a lot harder for me. Are you tired of making homemade PCB boards that don't always come out the way you imagine them to be? Right now you have PCB Way. With excellent PCB prototyping services, all you have to do is to open your account on PCB Way, use the software of your choice to design your PCB board, upload the Gerber files and place your order. Soon you'll end up with professional and excellent looking PCB boards for your projects. PCB Way also offers PCB assembly services, SMD stencils, CNC, 3D printing and even more. PCB Way is the way. Okay, here we are with a finished project. <laughs> uh, it's kind of ugly, but uh, it doesn't matter as long as it works or not, we'll see. Um, and I also built a very improvised and very, very ugly um, paddle key <laughs> just to do this test because I didn't have one. And uh, let me just turn on the transceiver and I'll show you what I just discovered earlier. So, uh, from the schematic, th since it says uh, CW uh, keyer, I'm imagining that it will give you a dash and a dot, right? So, here's the dots and I can uh, adjust the speed from the potentiometer. And in the other side, I'm supposed to have dashes, right? And if you see what I see, or, well, here, what I hear, there's no dots and dashes, it's just dots at different speeds. That's what I get. So 
So the, the dashes are actually dots at half speed from the dots. Okay, let me turn this off so we can understand each other. And uh, <laughs> if for the entire year I had no uh, failed project, well, this is the first right at the end of the year, because why not? So, uh, yeah, I guess the schematic doesn't work, uh, at least uh, not as expected. I uh, tried experimenting with the uh, electrolytic capacitor and I changed the value from 33 picofarads up to 100. Now I have 100 picofarads. The only thing is just changing the speed. Uh, but then, of course, I can adjust that with the potentiometer. So, um, this doesn't seem to affect much. Um, the value of this one doesn't seem to affect much uh, the rest of the circuit, at least not with why, what I tested so far. So when it comes to resistors in the schematic, uh, it's called for one 460 uh, ohms and the other one uh, 1.2 kilo ohms. So I used those originally, mm, same results like now, no changes. I decided to try a little bit uh, uh, a bigger difference between the resistors so I changed the smaller value to uh, 270 ohms and the bigger value up to 1.6 uh, kilo ohms. Same story, it's just changing the speed, things that I can readjust with the potentiometer but nothing else. So again I will do another quick test just so you for you to hear. So, there you go, the failed project for today, <laughs> but at least I tried. And uh, this is actually the reason why I, why I started the, the YouTube channel, uh, DX Explorer, and uh, the blog as well, because I wanted to test a couple of uh, schematics, not a couple of them, actually many of them that I found online and I really liked, but some of them I suspected that they might work. And you have to uh, realize that uh, you remember I'm still a beginner, I'm still learning about things, I'm not an expert and sometimes I do mistakes and uh, even if uh, sometimes I build the same circuit twice, if I fail the, f the first time it will definitely work the second time. But in this case the circuit actually works, it's just that it doesn't work as expected. So um, I might have an idea how to make it work. Uh, just as it is, but I might have to do some adjustments and uh, bring a couple of more components in. Uh, even though I know there is a schematic for a CW keyer uh, using the 5i5 um, timer, but instead of using one, I see you have to use three of them. And uh, that one definitely work, works. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if I can make it work with only one and probably just uh, bring in a couple of uh, uh, components extra. And if it worked for you, please let me know. Maybe I can figure out if I did something wrong, I figure out uh, what I did wrong. If not, it will stay as a fail. But if it's successful, uh, probably uh, with the modifications that I have in my mind, probably I'm going to come back later on at some point with another video with the modified version and the modified schematic. Anyway, it was time for a fail <laughs> at the end of the year, because, uh, you know, why not? Um, you cannot always have uh, things working uh, as expected. So anyway, thanks for watching, thank you for uh, sticking around for the entire year, and I hope uh, 2024 will bring you joy and happiness, and uh, I guess I'll see you um, in 2024. Until then... Thank you again for watching and 73.